we were on the ultimate fighter season one greatest show ever in the history of mma launched the sport in the ufc to super heights because of guys like me and you i think maybe it was some other guys on the show too but um so what i know you were doing like the you fought like uh in the jungle fight stuff like that but how did you find out about ultimate like j just briefly real quick how did you get to ultimate fighter like i i know how i got there obviously but like how did you get there how'd you find out apply for the show and then actually get on the show um all right here's the story i uh let me move this back a little bit I had been boxing a lot. I had just won my second uh, Chicago Golden Gloves title and even went down to Nationals and did pretty good. Uh, got a couple guys out. So and I heard about the contender and that Frank Stallone was going to be in town at the Windy City Boxing Gym having tryouts. So I went down there and they put me in the ring with some fucking roid monkey. <laughs> I didn't even know how to fight. And I beat his ass. So I went, yeah, right, be great. And then uh, I find, you know, then I go back and... Um, it's, yeah, I don't even think I heard anything. Um, you know, I find out later through the great bovine that they're doing, like, you know, different weight classes and professionals and all that. So I didn't even qualify. So I'm at jiu-jitsu. Um, I didn't find this out until later. But I'm at jiu-jitsu, and the guys are talking about this reality show where you fight on it, fight in reality show. And, um, you know, they say, oh, yeah, you hear? And it's going to be a, a UFC reality show. And I'm like, no, oh, guys, it's, it's a boxing. Yeah, it's called The Contender. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tried out for that. I met Frank Stallone and everything. No, no, the UFC. <laughs> what? And then uh, I remember I went home. I went to UFC.tv online because they didn't even have UFC.com then. And sure enough, we're having a reality show. And, like, please, like, send your tape in or whatever by Friday. Or, your, you know, and said put your self on camera just like this. Oh, I'm yeah, still yeah. modern. And I'm a fighter. And then your fights. That's exactly what I did. Just a cheesy, like, intro with me, bio. This is who I am. And then put my fights on there. And, uh, yeah, my only loss at the time would have been the, the cut to Machida. So, uh, you know. It was a big fight, that, though. Uh, got me the call. That got me the call. And, uh, you know, casting's week. At the time, I was supposed to fight Bobby Southworth in the Ironheart crown. And we had the posters made and everything. And then uh, there we are out at Castings Week. And then this big dude gets in the car with you. And then we're talking for a while. And lo and behold, there's Bobby. And I was just, I remember thinking, that is like, holy shit, dude. Uh, you're Bobby Southworth? Like, I didn't even recognize him. Because I'd seen him fought, fight in Pride. You know, he was way skinnier. He looks, yeah, he cuts so much weight. He looks like a different person when he fights. You can't look at his fights yeah. and then look at him in person and recognize the same guy. Yeah, especially that fight with Southworth or with uh, Vitor Pride, yeah. early Pride. You know, he's young. It's crazy, man. And, and then there that we was were. it. That's why on the show, when it was time to fight him, I was like, "Well, I'm supposed to fight the dude anyway." <laughs> yeah, so it was just, yeah. just just extended and for on a much bigger, larger scale. Um, so then you got on the Ultimate Fighter, and we were on the same team. We were never supposed to fight each other. Um, the show was interesting. What what was I mean, obviously, we saw everyone saw the show and all the stuff like that. What What was your most memorable experience? Do you think on the show? Uh, uh, you know, uh, just in general, during the taping of the show, whether it was shown or not, what was the most memorable thing for you, good or bad, that you that stuck in your head and that that you think about the most of the that eight week time period? Oh man, there's so many good memories. We but did. one that a pleasant memory is when the. The house, we couldn't go back to the house because, you know, the shit had overflowed everywhere and they were clean, taking all that up. So we went out to eat and uh, we had a little dinner at a restaurant, the one right down the street from uh, where we live. And uh, it was just a nice dinner. And like, the, you know, like the cameras weren't ready and all that. We only cameras around and we just like shot the shit. And, uh, everyone was pretty human and uh, just kind of put their guards down then. Because yeah. I think it was, it was something where like, you know, we're supposed to go back to the house. They weren't ready. We're still cleaning, so let's just go eat something here. And the cameras weren't around. It was nice. It was just a little break. We got to kind of uh, everyone like stopped acting a little bit for the moment. And yeah, it just was themselves. A much more ca calm night than the uh, the Hard Rock Cafe night. That night was a bit bit more crazy. Obviously, when they're like, "Hey guys, let's take you to the Kid Rock concert," <laughs> and y'all can do whatever well, the hell you see? want. I was in quarantine, remember? Huh? Oh, you didn't go. Remember, I, I was in quarantine. That's with right. The staff infection. That's right. You were. You missed that whole night. 
Yeah. Forgot about that. Well, it was yes, interesting. Yes, all the madness. So yeah. that was another really memorable thing. When I was, like, we were really overtrained. I was hurt. My body, like, it needed some rest. And I yeah. had that staph infection, so I was quarantined. So I couldn't train for, like, a couple of days. And then I came back to the gym. And I remember that. And I went under the bench, and I just felt great. Started go, go, go. Like, wow, I felt recovered. And thank God, because I would have never beaten Bobby if I were that yeah. grossly overtrained and weak. So thank God I got that staph infection. But that's another thing I remember really clearly is when I got back after the staph infection, and you like you were like, Bonner, you won't believe what happened. Oh, my God. And like <laughs> I'm hearing the stories out of your mouth of the craziness. And um, – yeah, I just uh, everyone and then, yeah, <laughs> Nate's coming up like you got to fight Bob, you got to get him out of the house, and like I'm like, what the hell's going on? And uh, all I could do is kind of piece together everyone's story, and then wait. That was like the longest six months of my life to wait for that episode to air to see kind of how it went down. Yeah, you know, because it was like you know we were just locked in the house, locked in the house, locked in the house, locked in the house, and then I'm going to and I come back and it was like, oh my god, we went out. And it was the craziest time ever. Lieben was banging a girl in the stall in the bathroom and fucking <laughs> someone tried to walk in and they got into it and Bobby and Koscheck and Lieben. Like, yeah, a lot of that part didn't get shown. <laughs> got into a fight and he smashed the house up and they hosed them down and it was just complete madness. It was like, because you went to a hotel, yes. right? They, they quarantined you in some hotel offsite. The Hacienda, way up by the Hoover Dam. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, they put you as far as they could away. Pr pretty cool because uh, the guy who was supposed to watch me was like, "Yeah, he'd come out." Like he gave me a few bucks to gamble with, and like I fucking had like some beginners luck. And next thing you know, I have like five, six hundred bucks on me, and uh, he takes. So he's like, "Fuck it." So we went out and hit um, every strip club in Vegas that <laughs> night. I remember That's that. That's another memory, Robert. He was watching me. Lever to Beaver's son. He's a production assistant on yeah. this show. He was the one watching me. He <laughs> takes me out. We had every strip club in town, blow all the money that I had made. Because I can't take it back anyway, except the eight bucks for when I snuck out. And then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my final memory, the sun's actually coming up. It's like 6, 7 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm driving his car back to the hotel because he's too wasted. We had just rummaged through the albertson's garbages so he could find receipts to turn in to say he bought shit for me because he blew so much money at the strip club i'd make some of that back and um he's hanging out the passenger window growing up and i'm um, cruising back to the hotel what a night that's crazy man and by and i want to say uh, specify by staff infection you mean like a hole in your chest like you <laughs> You had a serious staph infection, bro. Number one. So that's that's number one. Do I have an old picture of it? Because I'm the old. I don't want to see it. Yet. Picture like you could <laughs> I see it. it the black rash. So there was that. Yeah. So that's one part. And then part number put two, some, like powder over it too. Part number two is you left for a couple of days and then that shit went down. So like I remember, dude, because me and you were close in the house, dude. We we're like buddies and like always talking, hanging out, which is weird that we ended up fighting because we had no earthly idea we would ever yep. fight, and. uh and so you were like my dude and you and Nate and stuff. And so when you came back to the house, cause you were gone for a couple of days, I was like, bro, you are not going to fucking believe <laughs> what the fuck happened. Cause when you left, we were just training all the time. As you said, we were so exhausted from training two times a day, but uh, proving ourselves in front of the cameras and, 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 you know, couture pushing us. And like, just, I mean, it was like a grind. You have what it takes, you know, don't quit, like train harder. And like, it's, it's unrealistic to real training because it was for TV and like, you know, it was a test and it was all these things together. So we went from like training crazy hard, a uh, couple interesting moments at the house, you know, having some fun here and there to like you leaving for a couple of days and then just the craziest shit ever happening, going to that concert and then coming back, everybody's drunk and Diego's like chasing uh, aliens and it was fucking, I was like, bro, you're not going to believe. I remember, I remember thinking that when you got back, I was like, bro, you're not going to even believe what you missed. <laughs> And then you're like, bro, I had some fun too. Yeah, that really divided the house. Before that, yeah. it was kind of like, you know, we weren't so divided, you know. Yeah. After that, there was the cliques had formed the teams. Dude, I was defending you know, Lieben. I, I was blood. defending 
I was defending the only guy that ever beat me in a fight. I fought leaving for the championship at WC. He took my yes. championship, my, my one shot at a title at the WC, and he beat me. And like you know, me and leaving hated each other at that time. And it was so bad what happened. Yeah. I was going, I was going against my own teammates and helping just defending Lieben. That? Yes, that is so. Crazy. That's how crazy this shit was. Yes, bro. you and Bobby are AKA together, and Lieben, the guy you hated more than anything. But you know, I mean, just rivalry. Um, and you know, he's a loudmouth jerk anyway. I mean, he's really brash. You know, yeah, I love Lieben, but he, you know, he is. So there was that rivalry, and there you are. Like, who would have thought in a million years you're sitting there, you know, I just, behind Lieben's back telling Bobby what's up? It's that just like, I had to draw the line at some but, point. Uh, like, you know, of course, Lieben has his asshole moments, and he, and he was rubbing it in my face about the fight. And of course, I wanted to get the fight and tried to get it multiple times after, but. It's like at some point, dude, there's these lines being crossed. And that that night, man, the shit that happened that they shown and the shit that didn't get shown, it was just a lot of shit, bro. And I had to take a side, man. And I, it was just I, could, I couldn't I couldn't justify what, what was going on with Lieben and shit. And, like, I was like, that's just, just too wrong, man. Um, but it was like you said, it was a big division in the house. Um, what, what was your thoughts on, like, I hated the fucking challenges, man. I hated that shit. Like, I, I liked it better when we got to fight and – and and fight on the show and, and get to kind of to the end did you enjoy the challenges or because i almost got off the show because i had an accident we were carrying uh randy couture on a fucking sofa across lake mead for for yeah. what i have no idea they, they cleaned the rocks off the shore because they didn't want us tripping on no, so we, we had to run we had to run down yeah, the beach just... we had to run down the beach then go in the water and run back across the water and then back down the beach but so what they did was they took all the rocks on the beach to, so we didn't trip on them and they just threw him in the damn water. So we we had a clear path on the beach, and then we're carrying Randy Couture on our fucking head. Then we get into the water and start coming back, and we're tripping on all over the rocks that they they had on the beach that they were throwing into the water. So dude, I had my I had cuts all over my knees. I fell down at one point on my knees as I'm holding Randy. Like my knee was cut open, my shin was cut open, my pants were cut open. The ambulance was there, like treating oh, me. Like yeah. they didn't show all this, I but knew I was we like, we were in trouble. I look over and see little Thacker there. Yeah, you know <laughs> you. Uh, and Loden is not big. And then I look over and see those mules, Hoger and Bobby, who are yeah. like 35 pounds over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 